everybody, I'm Davy. Welcome. Today I am sharing with you how I have made our master bedroom cozy for the fall. And of course, it's on a shoestring budget. This is also in collaboration with Patty at Wife and Mom's Life. She has such a lovely channel with a lot of decorating inspiration. She's a homeschool mom of four. So definitely go check out her channel if you have not after you've watched my video. If you're coming over from Patty's channel, welcome. I do videos such as these, thrifted and simple living, homemaking, and motherhood. And I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. But let's get started with how I have cozied up this space very simply and very naturally and of course budget friendly. So the first thing I did was on our bed. I have a white comforter and I just like to kind of leave that because it's very neutral and it transitions well for all the seasons. And then I found a couple of these pillows thrifted a while back so really I didn't spend any money on them for this. Um, the yellow, it's actually more of a gold color. I wanted to pull in a few um, mustard gold color in. And then the autumn pup pillow with the pumpkins on it, I found in a set of four. And you'll see that in my fall home tour next week on the 21st in my living room as well. So um, you're getting a sneak peek of some of that. And then this brown pillow I found at a roommate sale. And I just really like to keep it very simple, very neutral. I, my husband is not a huge fan of throw pillows, but he's okay with it if I enjoy it. And then on the bed for the blankets, I used one of my daughter's um, hand knitted blankets to pull in that cream color. And then I just used a brown scarf I had to give that fall color on the bed as well at the end. And I think it just is so fun to have that on there. So then going to my tray. Now I struggled to do this at first, but I think it turned out rather cute. And it ties in with the rest of my home decor, uh, my kitchen decor especially. So I used some pumpkins I grew myself and then a stack of vintage books an ironstone pitcher and then some um, eucalyptus that I purchased off of Amazon uh, for the rest of my home decor actually and I just cut that garland and used it all over my house and put a stem on there and a candle of course because it's a master bedroom and candles make things very romantic and cozy especially for the fall season and I just love how beautiful this looks on the end of my bed. Of course, my little girl had to try to help me with all the little things too that I was trying to put on there. So that was the tray. Now on our nightstands, we just use crates for nightstands that I found, of course, thrifting a long time ago. And on each side of the nightstand, I just have a milk glass vase and then an ironstone pitcher. And these stems are from the Dollar Tree two years back, I want to say. And they just pull in that white and brown element that I was looking for. They're faux, of course, but I like to leave my nightstand super simple. Like we might put a book on the side, but nothing else because um, they're so short that our little girl likes to put her little toys on the side sometimes too so I just like to leave it simple and things that um, she is okay playing with and she doesn't really touch it anyways so that's our nightstand and that just pulls our whole bed section together and on our little dresser I if you hadn't haven't followed me for a while this dresser was a 60 no $40 garage sale find um, I think last year something like that so anyways, I just changed out some of the t decor um, to make it more rustic and fall-like. Of course, adding a candle and a faux grapevine wreath. The grapevine wreaths are just so neutral and I think are a nice touch to add. And then pumpkin I grew myself and a couple eucalyptus leaves. Very simple, that is it. And I should change out my picture on the other side of our daughter to be more fall like because it's it's kind of springy and summery. So um, eventually I'll get there once I get my pictures printed. But for now, that's what it is. And just add uh, another pumpkin. So that's really simple on our dresser there. And then 
this corner i haven't really shown you this before um i wanted to redo it i took down my spider plant because it was just massive anyways and it needed to go somewhere else and then i had a few summery spring hats um hanging around my house and it was time to take those sun hats down and i found this awesome and lovely vintage chair just last weekend at a garage sale for ten dollars it is so comfortable it just pulls the room together to have a chair to sit in it is a little worn on the arms but it's so comfortable i couldn't believe it for ten dollars and actually i found a rocking chair at the same place that was marked 25 that i got for 10. anyways i digressed i might have to share that rum age haul with you later um but i just threw a throw over it and kind of covered up some of the worn arms but it's just so beautiful i love the detailing of the legs and then up on the wall i found this old window in our fixer upper actually um we're doing a 450 square foot fixer upper that had we took the windows out and i popped the glass out and sprayed the old paint with a coating so the paint wouldn't keep chipping off hung that on the wall and then added a faux boxwood wreath and that is just very rustic very farmhousey very simple and that could honestly stay up year round but i thought it was really nice for fall to add to that corner and the chair kind of has those fall hues to it in color too but truly that is all i did for my cozy master bedroom our master bedroom is not large we have just a small closet as you can see behind but i really enjoy this space and i want to make it a place that i enjoy coming to after um, spending the day with my daughter and just to relax and i think i've done that honestly so i hope it inspired you and i hope you give it a thumbs up go check out patty's channel definitely after this and I hope you find inspiration on her channel too. With that, I will talk with you in my next video on Friday. All right, bye.